This week on the Long Term Tackle Review, we're going to be taking a look at what in my opinion is one of the best bang for your buck stoves on the market at the moment, and that is the Bullen T4. Alright, so probably many of you haven't heard of Bullen. They're not a fishing brand as such, they're mainly a camping brand. But this stove is one of the best bits of kits that I've used. It's absolutely rock solid. I've had it now for over three years and it's still working absolutely faultlessly. You might recognize the design even if you don't recognize the name because it is basically um, what Tracker call, I think the Armo Life uh, CG3 or something along those lines. Uh, it's basically the exact same stove except not branded with Tracker logos. And this comes in at around £19, £20 thereabouts, something like that. Whereas the tracker version of this is currently on Angling Direct for £44. So well over double the price for what is effectively the exact same stove. Now I'm not knocking tracker, they probably have to import these in large numbers to keep up their supply. They probably have to put it through their own testing, I'm not really sure. Uh, all that kind of stuff, get it rebranded, whatever. So, you know, they've got to mark it up a bit, but... That is a hefty old markup at double the price. So how does this stove work? Well, it's a standard stove, fits to a normal gas canister. You've got a rubber seal here and a little controller to control the flow um, and your flame size. Stainless steel tube going straight through to the main body, which has these three rock solid legs that after three years of use, I haven't managed to bend them or mark that well they're already burnt up but they're not dented or anything like that not rusted um, so they're really really rock solid you then have the main body and where the gas comes in you have this which is the main feature really and that is a preheat tube so how this works is on mainly for colder days you've got the gas coming in and it passes over its own flame and then up through the main body all this does is just warm the gas up before it comes into the main stove to help it burn more efficiently and help it get warmer on those colder days. That's really nice. You always get a real good, even clean burn with this. You've then got um, the method of ignition on the side. These on other stoves that I've had in the past are always the first thing to give up the ghost and break. I've had stoves from many of the main manufacturers over the years and this is basically always failed within the year. Uh, three years on this is still working. You occasionally have to just click it a couple of times but it will always spark spark up. Uh, so yeah I've been really impressed with this because it little, feels a little bit flimsy because it folds in when you store it. It does lock out but it has worked absolutely perfectly which is amazing for me. I can't believe it still is, is working functioning. So yeah it's, um, it's not much else to say about a stove. Works really well. Really uh, good price rock solid you aren't going to break it it does come supplied in a little uh, black bag which is uh, vaguely waterproof but I lost that pretty much straight away and I just keep this in my brew bag with my kettle and other bits and pieces anyway so it's not like it's going to get wet um, when you're going to and from the lake so you haven't got to worry about it getting rusty or anything like that and plus it's basically all stainless and heat coated metal so it's not going to rust up too badly anyway um, so this is three years old and hasn't got any rust on it. So yeah, it's definitely worth checking out if you're in the market for a new stove. It's not something you'll probably see on many of the fishing websites, but it's well worth looking into. You might want to have to wait a week or so, a couple of weeks for postage if you get it from China or somewhere like that, which is um, where these are made. But there are some English stockers floating around for it. And at 19 quid, he's getting an absolute bargain and you will not be disappointed with it. So yeah, that's the Bullen T4. Hopefully you've enjoyed this review. If you have, click like and subscribe. I really appreciate that. Also, let me know down below in the comments what stoves you use when you're out on the bank and if you've used the Bullen T4 and what your experiences are of it. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.